Hi guys, welcome back. I'm here to borrow the life out of you again. This time I'm in Windows 10 and I'm going to look at an option called Ease of Access. So if you need to change the background colour, maybe add a bit of transparency to menus, or maybe want your fonts larger, this is how we do it. So bottom right hand corner, I want you to select this option here and left click it. In the old days, you should be able to go to control panel. You can still do it in there, but it's easy to access everything from all settings here. If you don't see the all settings option, select expand and you'll find your all settings there. Left click it. Here's your window settings. Go to ease of use on the right here, or you can type ease of use up there, but you can see it quite clearly. Do a left click. Now we're in display. We know we're in display because you can see that red vertical line to the left of display. First option is you can expand the text size. So if I drag that along to what size you want that to look. And if I click apply, that will stay there for you. So that's number one. You might want to make everything bigger. You might have trouble seeing the icons, for example, on your desktop or, or menus. Well, then we can select here. I'm going to select 150% and you can see automatically everything's expanded by 50%. So if I minimize the display window, you can now see my taskbar at the bottom and everything is larger and easy to see. I'm going to pop that back to 100. That brings us to change the size of apps and text on other displays. Now I'm going to left click this for you. This won't be relevant, obviously, unless you've got another display attached. Now, if you have got another display attached, you've probably set it in duplicate or extended mode. I prefer extended mode because I can drag files onto that window and work with them and still use my main screen. But some people will find, for example, on a laptop, the screen's too small, so they can duplicate the screen with a bigger monitor and they can see everything clearly. So again, you can change all the settings as we did before in the other one through there. But top left hand corner, I want to come out of there. Actually, if I come out, they got night light off. Now that kind of makes things easier to look at and smoother. It's meant to give you like a sleepy feel. But I'm going to unselect that and then go back. I want to come down to this option here. Change the size and colour of your cursor and mouse pointer. Left click it. Sometimes it's quite easy to lose your cursor depending on what wallpaper you've got as well in the background on your desktop. Or you might have visual impairment. Either way, this is the easiest way of doing it. Now the number one option I think is quite good is this option. Now I'm going to open up a Word document and show you how the cursor one works. So there's my cursor there. I can see that okay, but if I open up settings, if I have any issues with that, then I can drag it along, say to about there, go back to my Word document. Now I can see the cursor flashing a lot easier, so I know exactly where I am. So that's a pretty cool option. Get rid of that. But I'm going to leave that on one. Then you can change pointer size and colour. So if I click left click here, you can see my pointer is a lot bigger. If I left click here, it's a lot smaller. So you can change your settings quickly there. Also the colour. You might want a black one, you might want a black one or the standard white one. The choice is yours. Now I'm going to top left hand corner and come out there again with a little arrow. You can show animation in windows. You can also show transparency which I kind of like transparency. If I turn it off and on, you can see on the left there where it gets rid of that background colour on the menus. And it automatically hides scroll bars. Now if I untick it, that will leave the scroll bar there all the time, but I like that to disappear. I'm going to hover over it and then it appears to work with. I'm just going to scroll down. And again, your desktop. So if I turn off background image and minimise settings, there's no background. And I can turn that back on. You can change that anyway with a number of ways, but if you do a right click on your desktop and select personalize, you can change your background there anyway. And the other option it gives you there is you can then change the colors, even your lock screen, what you want to come up and even choose themes and fonts through there if you want, if you want a specific font you find easier. And I go back to home. So that's how easy it is to use ease of access on Windows 10. Hope that helps.